Well, Pilar, congratulations on an amazing revitalization of the Stanley A. Milner. It's an incredible 21st century library. There's so much that you can see and so much that you can do here. If you were to reach out to Edmontonians and say, come to the Stanley A. Milner, this is what you can expect. What is the one thing that you'd want people to be excited about? There are so many things here that they won't have expected to be in a library and they won't have expected it to look like what it does on the inside and what it's going to uh, feel like. There are cutouts in the floor so people can see what's happening along with the increase in natural light. I think we have about three times the number of windows that we had in the old Milner so that natural light I think will really be inspirational to people. How on earth were you able to raise the funds to make something this magnificent become a reality? We have excellent community support. We raised a significant amount with individual donors. And when we asked the city for the $62.5 million with a capital request, one of our leverage points was that we would raise $10 million through community partners. And that was a super ambitious goal for EPL. We've never done this size of a capital campaign before in our history. But in fact, we've exceeded that $10 million goal. So I think that's a testament to the significant support that we have across the city. And we're really proud of that. It really demonstrates the grassroots approach. People love their libraries. I mean, this Milner Library, before we closed, had 1.2 million visits annually. I mean, that's more than any institution or organization downtown. So we're a big draw and I think that fundraising is a reflection of the number of people who support us for sure. I know that I have a personal favorite feature of the new library, but do you have a personal favorite thing? The wall. This will be the first installation of this size and kind in a public library in North America. So I'm very excited. I think people won't know what that means when I say the wall, but once they get here and experience it, they'll be mesmerized. One of the things that's really important about a publicly funded building is that it represents the community. And can you talk a little bit about how uh, the Stanley A. Milner represents all citizens in the city? All of our branches and our staff really are passionate about our community-led service philosophy that's embedded in everything we do. So it's what the community wants and needs um, that really drives how we deliver our services and what we deliver in terms of services. So one of the things that came out really strongly was that Indigenous peoples wanted to see themselves in our spaces. And so we've got this magnificent space down in the main level um, that's called Thunderbird House. And it is a public space where anybody can come and do ceremony, smudging or pipe ceremony. And it's to honor our Indigenous peoples. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about the Stanley A. Milner that makes it above and beyond any other library that I've come across is the, the fact that it can be a safe space for community members living and working downtown. Um, can you talk a little bit about the outreach services here? So we have three social workers that comprise the Robert Tegler Outreach Services space and we're so excited that we have additional office space and meeting room spaces that will accommodate other organizations. And so we're very excited to be able to accommodate a partnership and collaboration to better serve socially vulnerable people in our city. Yeah, it definitely makes the library seem more like a network for yeah. people to be able to engage with each other. Yeah, and that really is, I think, what libraries are about, is about that connection. One of the phrases that was uh, mentioned during our engagement surveys was that the public library is the opposite of loneliness. And I think that really kind of encapsulates what we're all about, that this is a place for people to connect. And if they, if they want to connect with individuals, they want to connect with learning, they want to connect with their imagination, um, there's all kinds of ways that they can feel connected. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. I'm looking forward to the grand opening and seeing how Edmontonians respond to the brand new building. Thank you so much, Marty. Great to talk with you.